This is a bad exotic, but when you pair it with this exotic, they both become really strong. And there are a ton of other exotic combos like massive explosions, 30 second supers, and even this. So here's a compilation of the 50 best exotic combos in Destiny 2, starting with Infinite Radiant. Rain of Fire makes you radiant each time you get a fusion rifle kill. Vex Mythoclast is the only fusion rifle that takes primary ammo, so it's very good and reliable at ad clear, and because you're wearing Rain of Fire, each kill gives you radiant, which increases the damage of all your weapons, gives them anti-barrier rounds, and triggers certain abilities in your solar subclass and certain mods in your seasonal artifact. And because you have infinite ammo with Vex, you'll basically have 100% uptime with Radiant. X Dearus creates moths as you get kills with it. These moths can track down enemies and blow up. But with Moth Keepers, this wannabe Hive Boomer Gun can create an additional purple moth. This will track down either you or an ally and give you an overshield, which can benefit from void subclasses. So not only will you be blowing up everything, you'll also be keeping yourself alive and create some really interesting builds. And if you enjoy this video, the only thing I ask for is a like down below. Do you like not dying? Well, Precious Scars gives you restoration just by getting kills that match your subclass. This lasts for 3 seconds, but on Solar, you can run Ember of Solace to increase that timer to 5 seconds, and you can run Ember of Empyrean to further increase that up to 15 seconds. So you'll basically never run out of restoration. And because you need a Solar weapon for this, you can pair it with Sunshot, the best Solar weapon for ad clear. Just blow things up with Sunshot and never die, because you'll constantly be healing after every single kill. Actia War Rig steadily reloads your auto rifles, even as you're firing them. So what better weapon to pair with it than Sweet Business? This fires faster the longer you hold down the trigger, and it holds 150 rounds per magazine. This screen lies to you. Because this holds so much ammo, when paired with Actium, it can just keep firing and keep firing for so long. So I'm just going to hold down the trigger and wait for this to run out. And while we wait for that to happen, let me tell you about another game I play that's giving some awesome rewards. You probably see this and think it's just another generic mobile game, but it's definitely more than that. It's Raid Shadow Legends, a turn-based RPG with tons of content and hundreds of champions with millions of possible builds. Assemble your best team, then take on the campaign, dungeons, clan bosses, PvP, and so much more. And to celebrate the arrival of Spring in Teleria, Raid is hosting a Spring Hunt minigame event starting from April 15th to May 30th, where you'll have to find hidden items around the Mistwood. Just download Raid, then head over to this website, enter your Raid ID, and start searching for missing items. If you're lucky, you could win real-life prizes like a gaming console or Amazon gift cards, or in-game loot like Legendary Champions and Skill Tomes. And there's also Community Weeks multiple in-game activities for all players, and a chase event where you can get the legendary champion Chronicler Adeline just by logging in for 7 days between now and July 8th. And after 14 days, you can get her perfect soul and a ton of other stuff too. If you haven't started playing Raid yet, what are you waiting for? Click my link in the description or this QR code here on screen to get insane bonuses, including a huge starter pack with the epic champion Tyrell, which is one of the strongest defense units. And at level 25, you get another epic called Rector Draft. And after downloading the game with my link, use the promo code SPRINGHUNT24 to get silver and more. This is available for both new and existing players, so definitely grab it. And I'll be honest, I need help defeating the clan bosses. So if you want to help me, you can find me under the name Marshix Prime and join my clan called the Meerkat Crew. Please, I'm desperate. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the battlefield. Any minute now. Any minute. Here's how to get tons of chain lightning. Crown and Tempest. Arc ability kills and jolt kills will increase your ability regen and also extend the duration of your super up to 30 seconds, which is kinda nutty. The way we're getting the majority of those kills is with Delicate Tomb. This creates Ionic Traces and when you collect those Ionic Traces, it'll reload itself and overcharge its next shot. This overcharge shot will jolt anything it hits, so not only will you be creating Ionic Traces for ability energy, You'll also be getting tons of jolt kills which feed into Crown of Tempest for even more ability energy and insanely long supers. You can melt bosses with Lucky Pants. This will increase the damage of your kinetic hand cannons for 10 seconds after you pull one out. Each shot will increase the damage of your next shot, and it maxes out at 10 stacks. So in order to take full advantage of the buff, we need a fast firing hand cannon like Malfeasance. This is the perfect hand cannon for this combo because not only does it create explosions that deal a lot more damage, it also stuns unstoppable champions, and it has a catalyst that gives it Vorpal Weapon, a 20% damage buff on hand cannons. So just pull this out and annihilate anything in your way, even some raid bosses. Are you the div of the group? Well, allow me to make your life a whole lot better. 
Divinity is a trace rifle that makes it so your useless teammates can actually hit headshots. But with Cetotaf Mask, this will also reload over time and even create heavy ammo. And as you can see, this has such a large magazine that you quite literally never have to reload it. You actually run out of reserves before you even have a chance to reload. And whenever you tag a yellow bar enemy with your trace rifle, it will become marked. When one of your teammates kills the marked target, all of your teammates will get heavy ammo, and you get special ammo to refill your trace rifle. This is the perfect combo for Divinity because this is the one trace rifle that specifically helps your teammates defeat bosses by both weakening them and giving your allies heavy. You can get supers back in as little as 20 seconds with Celestial Nighthawk. This turns your golden gun into one really powerful shot, but it also gives you a third of your super back whenever you get a kill with it. And it also reduces the cooldown of your super just by getting precision kills. So you can double down on this with bad juju. Each kill with this weapon gives you super energy, and multi-kills with the weapon give you even more super energy. So if you can chain precision kills back to back with this, you can get supers back really fast. As you can see by me getting my super back in only 20 seconds. Parasite is the king of burst damage. The first shot deals an absurd amount of damage when you have 20 stacks, but then it falls off immediately. But that's fine because we're pairing it with Curus of the Falling Star. This will double the damage of your Thunder Crash super. So what you can do is go into a boss fight with Parasite, immediately pop your super and slam into the boss, and they're probably dead. Especially if you have a full team of 6 people doing the same thing. Raid boss by the way. Nezarek Sin increases your ability regen by getting void kills, and the best weapon to get void kills with is Graviton Lance. This creates void explosions with every kill, so one shot can easily lead into multiple final blows, and because of that, you'll be able to keep Abyssal Extractors up basically all the time. And it gets even better because Nezarex works on all subclasses, including Strand, so you can use Mindspun Invocation. This allows you to consume your grenade to gain Weaver's Trance for 25 seconds. While this is active, all kills will create a burst that suspends anything hit by it. So you'll be creating massive explosions that also suspend, and Nezarex will ensure that you get your grenade back before the 25 second timer goes away. Unless you're completely stupid, you'll have 100% uptime on Weaver's Trance. It's kinda crazy. Fast supers that hit like a truck. Star Eater Scales gives you additional super energy whenever you pick up orbs of power. And when your super is full, additional orbs of power will overcharge your super. With full stacks, this will turn things like Blade Barrage and Gathering Storm into an absolute nuke. Now, the weapon we're pairing with this depends on your super. If you like Blade Barrage, go with Sunshot for a good ad clear and a Solar Siphon mod to spawn orbs of power with it. If you prefer Gathering Storm, go with Arc Siphon and Trinity Ghoul the actual best ad clearing weapon in the game, which just so happens to be Arc, so it pairs nicely with your Arc subclass. Tommy's matchbook used to suck, but now it's alright. Hold down the trigger to catch yourself on fire, and also catch your enemies on fire. This is good for a variety of reasons, but the main reason is Ember of Singeing. This gives you class ability energy whenever you kill a Scorched target, which is all of them with Tommy's. And the reason we want our barricade back is because of Lorely Splendor. When your shields break, it automatically consumes your class ability to create a sunspot that will heal you, even if Tommy is the thing that breaks your shield. So the one downside of Tommy's matchbook is completely negated by this helmet, and you're left with a really solid auto rifle. Do you like explosions? What about double explosions? Ace of Spades has Firefly, so precision kills will make enemies explode, on top of the damage buff from its main perk, Memento Mori, but you can actually double the amount of explosions with Chromatic Fire. With this, all precision kills with Ace of Spades will explode once with Firefly, and a second time with Chromatic Fire. So not only will you get the damage of two explosions, but one of the explosions will be solar, and the other explosion will match the element of your subclass. Speaking of explosions, Graviton Lance creates its own massive chaining explosions from every kill. But if you pair this with Gerfalcon's Hauberk and Stylish Executioner, it will also make everything volatile for even more explosions and various synergies with Void 3.0 subclasses. This one's a bit of a meme, but Final Warning is a sidearm that shoots tracking bullets, so you don't even need to aim. In lower level content, you can pair this with Lion Rampant to be able to hit fire in midair and shoot these tracking bullets at everything you can see. Reminder, you don't have to aim. You never have to reload Gallohorn with the help of Reign of Fire. Gallohorn holds two rockets at a time, and because of that, you can shoot both of them, Icarus Dash to reload from Reign of Fire, shoot two more times, and by the time you do that, your Icarus Dash is back and you can do it again over and over until you run out of rockets. Infinite Tethers. Equip Orpheus Rig and Single Shot Tether. Shoot your super into a big group of enemies, and with Orpheus, you'll get super energy each time an enemy enters your tether. 
This will get you half your super back almost instantly, and you can then kill those tethered enemies with bad juju for even more super energy. By the time the tether's out, you'll definitely have most of your super back, if not the full thing. And you'll also be creating tons of orbs in the process for your teammates, so they'll be able to chain their supers too. Point Contact Cannon Brace makes your Thunderclap melee go from this to this. Big difference. So we're pairing this with Monte Carlo to get melee energy just by dealing damage with it. This allows you to spam these overpowered melees and wipe out hordes of enemies with each punch. You can easily get infinite restoration times two with Karnstein armlets. Melee kills give you restoration times one and finishers give you restoration times two. If you didn't know, two is better than one. This only lasts for eight seconds, but you can easily extend the timer up to 15 seconds with Ember of Empyrean and a good solar weapon like Sunshot. Just get one finisher to get restoration initially, kill things with Sunshot, and then never die and win the game. You can turn a sidearm into a sniper rifle. Forerunner is a sidearm that takes special ammo, which means it deals a lot more damage per shot. With Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, if you get to low health and swap to a sidearm, you'll get double damage on Forerunner. This is on a short timer, but if you run this with a second sidearm, you can extend this effect with other sidearm kills. So you can keep this going for a lot longer than you think. Worldline Zero used to suck, but now you can use its heavy attack two times in a row. This makes it deal some really high burst damage, but in high level activities, you'll just die. But thanks to Stronghold, that's not a problem. Walking with a sword builds up stacks of perfect guard. Dealing damage with your sword consumes those stacks and gives you restoration times two with a longer duration depending on the amount of stacks you have. Four seconds at minimum stacks, 16 seconds at max stacks. So you can easily get in, melt a champion, safely get out, and set up for another one. This next combo isn't tied to any subclass, and it gives you back-to-back -back tessellation shots. This fusion rifle allows you to consume your grenade to charge up a powerful projectile that explodes on impact. Now, the main limiting factor here is our grenade energy, which is why we're using an exotic that gives us two grenade charges. So things like Osmiomancy Gloves for Stasis Warlocks, Starfire Protocol for Solar Warlocks, Nothing Manacles for Void Warlocks, Moth Keepers or Widow Silk for Hunters, and Armamentarium for Titans. With any of these equipped, you'll have two grenade charges, which you can feed into Tessellation to get multiple explosive shots. On top of that, kills with Tessellation give you 20% of your grenade energy back. So with five kills, you'll get a full grenade charge, and 10 kills gives you both grenade charges. So as long as you're getting at least five kills per shot, you'll be able to use this over and over, and you'll always have that second grenade charge if things don't go your way. Verity's Brow increases the damage of your grenades just by getting kills with matching weapons. With 5 kills, you'll get double damage on all of your grenades. Then, pair this with a good solar weapon like Sunshot that can easily get 5 kills, as well as fusion grenades with Touch of Flame for even more damage. Your grenades will absolutely melt bosses. Just make sure you keep that timer going with 1 or 2 shots of Sunshot. Triton's Vice This exotic buffs your glaives by increasing reload speed, increasing melee damage, cheating the ammo economy, and creating explosions. So we're going to pair this with my favorite glaive, Vex Calibur. Walking with this glaive gives you an overshield, and while you have an overshield, it deals more melee damage. And this stacks with Triton's Vice to get two damage buffs at the same time, one from having an overshield and the other from being surrounded by enemies, which is all the time with a glaive. It's really easy to activate both buffs at the same time, so you shouldn't have a hard time melting things with it. Legend of Acrius is the hardest hitting shotgun in the game for two reasons. It's a heavy weapon, and it has trench barrel, but we can make it even better with no backup plans. This exotic increases the damage of your shotguns whenever you have an overshield. So all you have to do is throw down your bastion barricade going into a boss fight, then punch to activate trench barrel and get to shooting for some big damage. You can deal some really high damage with Merciless. This fires faster the more you shoot it, and it also has a perk called Impetus. This is essentially kill clip. Get a kill, then reload to get a damage buff. And because this is a fusion rifle, you can also use this with Reign of Fire to become Radiant. When you combine these two buffs, you'll get nearly double damage with Merciless, and more than double damage with Weapon Surges. So you just need to get one kill to become Radiant, reload to get Impetus, then dump your entire magazine into a boss. There's a way to shoot all your heavy ammo without reloading. With Sealed Ahankara Grasp, dealing melee damage will reload your equipped weapon. Stasis Hunters have two melee charges, so you can do some fun stuff like shooting six Galahorn rockets or nine rockets with truth, or dumping all your fourth horseman ammo in two seconds. But the best rocket to pair with this is Cold Comfort. This gets bait and switch for a big damage buff, alongside Envious Assassin to overfill the magazine to three. And thanks to its origin trait, 
If you get a finisher beforehand, it will load one extra rocket after you dump the first three. So you get three rockets from Mimius Assassin, one rocket from the Origin trait, two rockets from Sealed Ahamkara Melees, and one last rocket with Marksman Dodge. That's seven bait and switch rockets without reloading. That's crazy. Doomfang Pauldron gives you a big chunk of super energy whenever you get powered melee kills. So we're pairing it with Monte Carlo for extremely fast melees. So you just need to get a few kills with Monte Carlo, and as soon as your melee comes back, throw it into a group of enemies and start working on your next melee. Do this about five times and you'll get your super back in no time. Necrotic Grips allow you to poison enemies with your melee. When those enemies die, they spread that poison to other nearby enemies. But this doesn't just work with melees. Weapons of Sorrow like Thorn, Osteostriga, Necrochasm, or Touch of Malice can all apply poison to enemies. This poison counts toward Necrotic Grip, meaning each kill creates those poison clouds, making it very easy to spread poison to everything in the room, and it can get kinda busted with Strand. Lucky Raspberry recently got a buff, so now whenever you collect an Ionic Trace, you get additional grenade energy, and it also buffs your Arc Bolt grenades by quite a bit. We're pairing this with Delicate Tomb, because this can create so many Ionic Traces, thanks to its exotic perk, and the Spark of Discharge Fragment for even more Traces. There will be Ionic Traces all over the place, and they all come back to you to give you those overpowered Arc Bolts. Most people use a Violent Leap to suspend things, and that is good, but this combo is taking advantage of the secondary effect. Gain Woven Mail when suspending targets. Woven Mail is very powerful, giving you a massive damage reduction while you have it. So obviously we're using Dringer's Lash to suspend things with our barricades, but we're also using Wish Keeper. Kills with this weapon build up stacks, and you can use these stacks to create a trap. Anything that touches the trap becomes suspended, and you get Woven Mail from that thanks to a Violent Leap. You'll basically become a walking tank with all the Woven Mail you have. Lumina has a unique interaction with Boots of the Assembler. Kills with Lumina spawn these Noble Rounds that can be used to heal allies and give them a damage buff. But you can actually get these Noble Rounds for free using Boots of the Assembler. Place down your Rift to shoot out these orbs for your teammates, and in the process, you get free Noble Rounds for Lumina. So you don't even need kills to use this exotic to its full potential. You can actually make Heart Shadow a decent damage option. Heart Shadow has the ability to turn you invisible with its heavy attack. While you're invisible, this weapon deals more damage and weakens enemies on hit. Pair this with Gurfalcon's Hauberk, and now each time you emerge from invisibility, you'll also gain Volatile Rounds, creating extra explosions to deal damage, and with Stylish Executioner, killing Volatile targets will turn you invisible again, which helps with Heart Shadow's exotic perk. Helm of Saint-14 gives you an overshield whenever you enter your bubble super, and it blinds any enemies who enter your bubble. But this doesn't just work with the super, it also works with the jello bubble from Edge of Action. Enemies still get blinded, and you have extra protection. Fallen Sunstar gives you additional ability energy whenever you collect Ionic Traces. A good source of Ionic Traces is through Delicate Tomb. This alone creates Ionic Traces from kills, and with Spark of Discharge, this creates a ton of Ionic Traces, which makes Fallen Sunstar that much better. You can get infinite invisibility with True Sight using Monte Carlo. I know, it sounds weird, but when you pair the Monte Carlo Catalyst with Kepri Sting, you get infinite charged melees. Punching someone with full melee energy will instantly cast a smoke bomb, dealing increased damage, giving you true sight, debuffing the enemy, and if you're using Stylish Executioner, you turn invisible too. This normally consumes your melee charge, but when you use the bayonet mode on Monte Carlo, it doesn't. So all you have to do is get a few kills with Monte Carlo, swap to the bayonet, stab someone to activate Kepri's, then stab the next guy, then another, and another, until everything's dead. You can get infinite grenades on Titan. Ash and Wake will make your fusion grenades explode on impact, and kills with them refund grenade energy. And we're gonna pair this with Buried Bloodline to get Devour on our solar subclass. Devour is important because it can give us grenade energy from kills, allowing us to easily chain grenades back to back and always have one for the next engagement. You can get one weapon with Overload, Unstoppable, and Anti-Barrier all at the same time. Riptide is a fusion rifle that gets Chill Clip. The first two shots slow enemies, which can stun Overload champions. Then three shots with Chill Clip can freeze enemies, which can stun Unstoppable champions. And to get Anti-Barrier, we're using Reign of Fire. Since this is a fusion rifle, you just need to get one kill with it to give you Radiant, which gives all your weapons Anti-Barrier. So in theory, you can use this weapon for all champions and run whatever other two weapons you want. You can dump all your heavy ammo in only a few seconds. With Radiant Dance Machines, when you dodge near an enemy, you get a buff called Multi-Dodge. 
Kills will extend this timer, and while it's active, you can dodge over and over with no cooldown. So if you get a few kills to max out the timer, and then use Marksman Dodge to reload your weapons, you can shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge, until you either run out of time or run out of ammo. This works best with rockets, and the best exotic to pair with it is Two-Tailed Fox. This is a really strong heavy weapon that shoots three rockets at once. One that suppresses, one that scorches, and one that jolts. So if you dump all of these into a boss, you'll deal a good bit of damage. Second Chance gives you two shield throw melees, and buffs them by giving them anti-barrier and weakening targets on hit. This is powerful for multiple reasons, but none of that matters if you don't have a consistent source of melee energy. Which is why we're using Monte Carlo as our primary weapon for a consistent source of melee energy. Having this will make it so you always have your melee ready for whatever you encounter, whether it be a bunch of adds, a boss you need to weaken, or a champion you need to stun. Swarmers can be used to buff your Threadling builds. Tangles spawn Threadlings, and Threadlings unravel anything they hit. Now obviously, the weapon we're combining with this is Wishkeeper. This is a strand bow that can get Hatchling to spawn Threadlings from precision kills. It also suspends enemies with its exotic perk, and killing a suspended target turns them into a Tangle. So you'll have multiple sources of Tangles, and multiple sources of Threadlings. So you'll have a very easy time building up your army of Psychic Space Rats. I found a weird trick that allows us to deal 10 times damage with Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades has a perk called Memento Mori. Reloading after a kill gives you 6 shots with a damage buff, but if you ever stow your weapon, you lose the buff. This means you can't stack the hand cannon buff from Lucky Pants, right? Well, what you can do is get Memento Mori active on Ace of Spades, then pull out your ghost and put it away. This will activate the buff from Lucky Pants, and keep the buff from Memento Mori. So now you can get two really good damage buffs on one of the most fun hand cannons in the game. As I mentioned before, Actium War Rig reloads your auto rifles over time, but this actually applies to machine guns as well. So exotic machine guns like Xenophage and Grand Overture never have to reload. You can just shoot and shoot and shoot, and you'll be able to fire off all your reserves without ever reloading. Dragon's Breath is a rocket launcher that runs on fuel. Fuel regenerates over time, and the more fuel you have, the more damage it deals. Igniting enemies also refuels it, so that's why we're pairing this with Caliban's Hand. Your proximity knife ignites targets on final blow. So with this and knock them down to have unlimited throwing knives, you can create ignitions with every kill. Meaning you can shoot Dragon's Breath into a large target, kill the surrounding enemies with a melee or two to create ignitions, which refuels Dragon's Breath, allowing you to shoot it again much faster than waiting for it to refill itself. You can spam abilities and stunlock bosses with Apotheosis Veil. Popping your super gives you unlimited ability energy for a few seconds. The best weapon to pair with this is Dragon's Breath, because you can shoot this going into a boss fight, it'll start building up Scorch stacks, then you can pop your super to spam your abilities, and those will create ignitions that reload Dragon's Breath, so you can shoot it again. All of this together will stunlock most bosses and deal a good bit of damage in the process. Titans also have a similar version of this build. We're taking Dragon's Breath and pairing it with Pyrogale Gauntlets for an easy way to create ignitions and deal some massive damage in the process. This will turn your Burning Maul into one really powerful slam that creates fire tornadoes that scorch. So what you can do is shoot a boss with Dragon's Breath, pop your super right in the boss's face, then it will ignite, reloading your Dragon's Breath so you can shoot it again. Then you just DPS with your special weapon while you wait for it to refuel itself again. This is actually really good damage in solo dungeons, and it's the build I use to get my solo flawless Warlord's Ruin. Worm God Caress increases your melee damage as you get melee kills. This buff also applies to Glaives, and the best Glaive for DPS is Winterbite. This is the only Glaive in the heavy slot, so it hits way harder than any other Glaive. And with the help of Worm God Caress, this can hit even harder than normal. You won't be taking this into a raid or a GM, but in any other activity, this thing can destroy just about anything in only a few hits. Xenotaph Mask will reload your trace rifles over time, even as you shoot them. And this also works with Agar's Scepter in its overcharge mode. Normally, if you reload while it's in this overcharge state, it will go back to normal. But thanks to Xenotaph, that's not a problem. So instead of 194 rounds in the overcharge mode, you can get up to 251 shots. That's a 30% increase just because you're wearing this helmet. Mask of Bacchus is a weird exotic, but it enables a really interesting combo. This replaces your dodge with a light shift, and after shifting, you deal 25% more damage with stasis and arc weapons. And the weapon I chose for this is Grand Overture. 
All you have to do is get hits to build up your missiles, then you can hold reload to dump all the missiles into one target. So what you can do is get Grand Overture to its max stacks, then dodge to get your arc damage buff for a few seconds, then blow your entire load into the boss's face. One of the strongest exotics in Destiny 2 is Sun Brazers. Powered melee kills give you 5 solar grenades, and those grenades will last for longer. This is great for blocking off doorways, or with Touch of Flame, you can use them to melt bosses too. But this relies on you getting melees back consistently. You can do that multiple different ways, but the easiest is with Monte Carlo. Dealing damage with this gives you melee energy, and kills have a chance to instantly refill it. So just get a few kills with this, melee to get a bunch of grenades, throw those grenades, and then repeat the cycle. This is actually a really good build for Onslaught, and you can watch this video for even more top tier builds that make Onslaught easy. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to download Raid Shadow Legends using my link in the description or this QR code to get insane bonuses in game.